getting the uh, prophetic focus for the month. This is one of those threefold mandates that I receive from the Lord. Get back home and make my people rich. Many have been taken out of the dung hill and made to sit in the palaces today by diligently hearkening to what God said for me to tell them and observing to do them and things opened up. There is nothing magical there. First, let me say this. How prophetic is the word of God? How prophetic is the word of God? Everything God said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 31, God saw. When God speaks, the word he speaks creates his content. That's why they call it the most sure word of prophecy. You believe it is created. It's created. It's created. And God saw everything that God said. And behold, it was very good. Verse 31. And God saw everything that God said. And behold, it was very good. Genesis 1 and verse 31. And God saw everything that God said. <laughs> and behold, it was very good. God said it. God saw it. Peter described the word as the most sure word of prophecies. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shines in the place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Now, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation, but holy men of God. For the prophecy came not in the old time by the will of man, but the holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So they were all those here the Lord. That's what you find there. Every prophecy of scripture is God prophesying to his people. Because it's the most sure of prophecy. The most sure word of prophecy. The most sure that it is more I mean it's more guaranteed than any prophetic word from any prophet on earth. So it's not a story book. Stop reading stories. Seek to assess the mysteries of the kingdom. And the vital mystery of the world is its prophetic nature. Can I tell you what I mean? I saw at the age of 16, a year after I got born again, that I've been redeemed unto God as a priest and a king to reign on the earth. It, it sank into my spirit. Every time this small boy wants to go out, he will check with the king go out like this. It entered me. It was me God spoke to. It's not to us. He spoke to me. <laughs> he spoke to me. I saw in 81 the part of the just man as a shining light, he shines more and more. And I vowed against a better yesterday. It was me God spoke to. Proverbs 4 and verse 18. Revelation 5 and verse 10. Probicanarutas. It's prophetic. It's prophetic. I stepped out of poverty and uncertainty of the future. 1982, from this chapter 8, verse 18. March 22nd, we are in March again, oh, 82, and I screamed, yay, I can never be poor. I had it, 
I embraced it and knew the outcome. A ropata, a sokiteyo, break tanora. One day, this short man was declared the richest pastor in the world in a depressed economy. <laughs> My God. Without begging, without games, a rat of picking, a naughty unto some, is prophetic. Seek out of the book of the Lord and read. None of this shall fail. We read that earlier on, Isaiah 34, verse 16. Neither shall any want to admit. For my mouth it has spoken it, and my spirit has gathered them. It's a prophetic service, so don't mind me. I'm not bothered about notes or anything. If you can catch this today, you are true.